Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because we are going to be talking about the ever famous Stanley Cup. The official name of this cup is the Quencher H2.0 Flow State Tumbler 40 ounce. So if you guys are like searching that, cause I put in Stanley Tumbler and like all of these tumblers, other cups came up. So I was like, okay, where's the actual Stanley? So I found it and that's the name. I don't know how I'm gonna remember that, but now Google is like kind of trained enough and knows that you're looking, like what you're looking for. Before we get started talking about these, make sure you are subscribed. I vlog, I film my life. I'm currently in school to become a surgical technologist and I would love to have you on my journey. Also too, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I've been much more active on there. I feel so bad for not posting a lot of YouTube videos. I have no excuse. I've just been lazy. I haven't been filming, so my apologies, I'm sorry. Getting on into this video, I'm going to answer the question right off the bat, so those of you who wanna click out can after this. The truth about the Stanley Cups and are they worth it? They are definitely worth it. As you guys can see, I have two. I love these things so much, but I will get into the pros and cons later in this video, so if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Let's start from the beginning. I saw Karen Swan, you guys know, I love KK and Baby J. I've been watching them for years. They're pregnant right now, I'm so excited. I saw her on Instagram, she was like, this cup is so amazing. I love it. It's so convenient because you don't have to fill it up a lot during the day because it's 40 ounces. And I'm over here like, okay, let's see. So I click the link and I'm like, 40, $50 for one of these? No way, no way. I'm not paying that. I have plenty of Starbucks cups that I use on the regular and I don't need another cup. Like. I have plenty. I loved my Amazon glass, you know, the glass cups that had like the silicone around and then the wood top that you just like pop in. I love those. They were like 16 ounces and I would drink from my Starbucks cups a lot. You guys know, I loved those things and I still do. I still use them to this day, but not as frequently, hint, hint. Um, so basically I wasn't hooked yet. And then I started seeing more people have these cups. So the next person I saw that had this cup was a mommy blogger. I don't really like follow her too closely. A mom called Tara Henderson. Um, she's on YouTube too, but I don't, again, like I just follow her on Instagram. So she had one of these and I'm like, okay, wow, another person has it. But I'm still not getting it because I'm not paying that much for a cup. <laughs> and then fast forward on, I was watching Gretchen Garrity. You guys know I love Gretchen, okay? Like, if I could meet her, that would be like so cool. I saw Gretchen and she was talking about how she got one of these and she loved it so much, but she got her boyfriend Max like a black one and it was like cool, really clean, sleek. And I was like, oh my gosh, like another person, man. And they were hyping these things up, right? So I'm like, I don't know. I'm still not convinced, okay? I was listening to, and granted, before the Stanley was even on my mind, I wanted the nude color of the Hydro Flask because it's like super rare, it's really cute, it kind of matches like my aesthetic. Not that I really have one, I don't really have one. If I like something, I like something. But I really liked that nude color. But I was like, I don't really wanna pay $100 because they were going so much on eBay and I'm like, it's just a water bottle and I already have a Hydro Flask. That was another reason too why I didn't really want or need this because I'm like, I already have a Hydro Flask and I have plenty of tumblers. I don't need another cup. So that's another reason why. Moving on, fast forward, I was driving to work one day listening to Manifest with Tori De Simone. Um, Tori Sterling, kind of how she's known on YouTube, but now she's like rebranded. She's like now Tori De Simone and she has this podcast and I absolutely love it. And I do watch her YouTube videos when she uploads and I love her too. Like I'm a little obsessed. She lives a really like healthy lifestyle. She's just like a good role model. I think more people should follow her cause she has like good practices and just like becoming your better self and like being a good person, which I think we all should do in this day and age. She was talking about how she wanted the Stanley Cup, but the cream color. And I was like, whoa, they have a cream color? What, what, what? So I'm like, okay. 
Now I'm gonna have to research. I research, I find the cream color on Amazon. And I have an Amazon credit card, so I get like 5% back. Not that I'm trying to encourage people to spend money. Because I get such a good deal on Amazon with the credit card and like getting 5% cash back and everything. I find this, it was in stock because you know, always online, they're sold out of every color, especially in 40 ounce, so it's kind of annoying. So I find this on Amazon and I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. Guys, I spent $100 on this thing and I don't regret it. I can't believe I'm really saying that because it was really only like $50, $40 like online and then like, you know, plus shipping and whatever. So it just came out to like around 50 bucks for this cup and I just spent double on Amazon. But you guys, it was one of those things that it was just like, the balloon was inflating of like this cup and I'm like, okay, I just need one. So I buy it impulsively. This was definitely an impulse buy, kind of like the robe I got, the Sarah Noni one. I'm like, okay, I just need it. So I buy it on Amazon and it doesn't take long and I used it for the first time and I fell in love with it. And now it's like, I call it like the adult sippy cup because I cannot go anywhere without this thing pretty much. I go to spin with it, I go to class with it, I have it in my car always because there are just so many benefits, which I'm going to get into right now. I love the handle. The handle's great because you don't have to like, I don't know, there's been so many times that I've like dropped my tumblers and cracked them. I was so sad when I broke my very first Starbucks cup because I dropped it. It was during COVID, so we were home and I was using it a lot. But anyway, the handle's amazing. The bottom here, it fits into cup holders. Now, when I get into the cons, I'll show you, there are some marks because my cup holder in my car, it doesn't like fit this all the way. Like it goes to like here, it still fits, but most cup holders, this fits, this bottom portion. Next up, the straw. Guys, I don't know about you, but when you're doing this like in the car, like tilting the beverage up, you can like spill it all over yourself. Having a straw, I'm just a straw girly because straws are just easier and I like them and that's just it. Except for when it comes to Starbucks, I do, I don't really use a straw anymore because I don't really know why. Oh, because I drink so fast with a straw and I like to savor my Starbucks drinks. So I don't use a straw with Starbucks, but if I had to like drink something fast, when it comes to Starbucks, I would definitely be grabbing a straw and I can sip really fast. The lid is perfect because I had to slam on my brakes one time at school and everything like went falling. Like literally my Stanley was like this and I finally park and I'm like on my phone. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like all my stuff's like completely flipped over. And I finally like flip it back over. And I will say, does it leak? Yes, it's not like leak proof, but not as much water came out as I thought. And it's because of this little like, you can kind of see it, that little like rubber thing that the straw goes into. And apparently the newer Stanleys have that. The older Stanleys don't because my friend, she has like a really similar version. I think it's like a little bit older than this but it's still like a creamish color. I was looking at hers and it didn't have this like rubber thing. It was just like a, it's just like plastic around there. And I was, I thought she had like broken it off or something. I was like, oh, what happened to your Stanley? And she was like, oh, it came like that. I'm like, oh, you don't have like a little grip thing here? And she was like, no. So I don't know. I'm happy that I have that because it doesn't spill as fast as you would think. Yes, it still spills. It's not perfect. Um, the colors. I absolutely love all the colors that the Stanleys come in. Um, my friend has this beautiful like succulent sage green one and I have this one. So this is fog and this is cream. I absolutely love them. There are some that are like just too bright for me. Like no, I like the pastel muted colors because they're not like in your face. I also love the black one. You can never go wrong with black. And then the little logos are kind of like faint. They're not like Stanley, like in your face. Oh, another positive. This is the last positive I'm gonna talk about, but because this is like stainless steel or 
it's a very insulated cup so basically the beverage in here stays cold for such a long time so i just put a little ice in and throughout the entire day my water is cold it's amazing okay so i've talked this up plenty now let's get into the negatives which there's not too many negatives but there are negatives that I really don't like about this cup. First of all, I do not like, they're kind of sensitive. And when I say sensitive, this Stanley got knocked over in class once, but nothing happened to it. But what I was saying about my car and like the cup holder not fitting completely, it does have some scratches and marks. So I don't know. You can see one like right there. Um, and then there's like hairline scratches. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but I will say some of the coloring can get worn. But again, I've had this one for a while. The cup in fog, I do not see any blemishes on it. Oh, on the bottom here, there's some wear. You can kind of see, you can see along the rim. I just like to be totally transparent with you guys, especially when it comes to products and like paying this much money for something, um, you should know. So, I mean, I definitely would not suggest rolling this down a hill with rocks because <laughs> I don't think it's like really meant for that. The build itself is very sturdy, so it's not like the cup would break, but you definitely get scruffs on it and no one wants that because the colors are so pretty. Another thing too, when the 40 ounce is filled, it is heavy. Like it's not a light little cup. Um, the metal, even my mom was like, oh my gosh, like when I handed it to her. So just know that if you were gonna put this in your bag, because sometimes I keep it in my tote bag when I go to school, it's heavy. Like this is not light, but you gotta think there's 40 ounces of water in here that it's holding, plus the metal, it's heavy. So you will kind of get an arm workout if you lift this up and hold it for an extended period of time. I would say another negative, this isn't technically a negative for me, but other people, since they do not have like the suction around the straw and it's just like, this straw is like loose with the other versions. It just, I don't know how to describe it, but the straw just like goes in and out like super, super easily. But this is like, it takes like some force to like get the straw in and out. But that would be another negative if you have an older version. And then one more negative that I can think of, I'm trying to think of negatives. I don't have a whole lot of negatives when it comes to the Stanley. If ever your handle would break or if you had to grab the cup like this, like if you had to grab the cup like this with it full of water and you didn't have the handle, it would be really hard to hold because it's like so wide up here. Down here it's a little bit better, but still that heavy weight and everything is just like kind of hard. Another negative that I can like quickly think of is that it is not like seal proof, like it still spills. So if you were to knock this over, like liquids still would come out. Um, unlike a water bottle, hydro flask, any of those types of water bottles, like you know the liquid's not gonna go anywhere. The liquid's gonna go somewhere if this tips over. So that is a negative, but I'm not tipping over water bottles that often. Like it just stays like this. So that's not a big deal for me. But anyway, I think that is it for this video. If you guys are thinking about the Stanley Cup, I highly recommend it. Drink two of these a day and you already have 80 ounces of water in your body. And that's amazing because you should always be drinking water. Um, staying hydrated. Some people put their Starbucks drinks in here, which is funny. I find it kind of funny. Are these worth it? I believe so. Even if you just have one, you don't need two or three. I mean, during the week, I really only use one. I just like the color and I think they're really cute. But no, you do not need multiples of this cup. If you just have one, you're good to go. So this has completely changed my life. And I love it so much. I don't know why, but I'm kind of happy that they blew up and they're cute and in style. I'll probably still use this even when it's out of style because I really like them and they're just good to have around you in the house, on the go, whatever. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.